Today, we're delving deeply into the remarkable fluctuations in the stock prices of AMC and Game GameStop. Is this the beginning of the much-anticipated short squeeze? We'll examine the motivating factors. Let's dive into the details of what's behind these price surges and the current situation for short sellers. Hey, and welcome to AMC Daily. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications by hitting the bell, and enter our giveaway. Please keep in mind, though, that this is not a video offering financial advice. To start, let's take a look at a recent tweet from Dave Law, who hinted that we might soon witness the liquidation of short sellers. As of right now, the share utilization for both MC and GameStop is an astounding 95%. Furthermore, 97 million shares are lent out, and the cost of borrowing is soaring. GameStop's pre-market performance is shown in a screenshot that has been making the rounds on Twitter. It shows that the company is rising rapidly, reaching over $180 per share on significant volume. Although both stocks declined during regular trading hours, they recovered in after-hours trading. The Kissy Letter tweeted that short sellers of GameStop and MMC have already lost due $25 billion today alone, bringing their two-day total losses to due $5 billion. This loss could result in margin calls, which would force hedge funds to sell their holdings. Let's look at how hedge funds work on margin to better comprehend this. Generally, hedge funds trade with borrowed funds, for example. Let's imagine a hedge fund that has $5 billion in equity. AMC and GameStop are examples of a situation where history may be repeating itself. Capital took out a $125 billion loan from large banks, giving them a total of $125 billion to invest if their short positions move against them. As we've seen with recent losses, the equity gets wiped out leading to margin calls the banks aiming to recover their loans for the hedge funds to liquidate their positions resulting in massive sell-offs and further price surges for the stocks in question. An analogous situation occurred with Arrows Capital a few years ago when their leverage position soured the banks initially gave them some leeway, which ultimately led to significant losses for the banks themselves there is mounting evidence that short sellers and their friends are in a panic. Former SEI Chairman Jay Clayton has voiced his concerns about the GameStop situation and questioned whether the U.S. government should get involved. This response indicates that people connected to hedge funds are deeply concerned. Similarly, Jim Cramer has been outspoken on Twitter, criticizing Robinhood and other similar platforms and recommending that businesses dilute their stock in order to cut prices. These answers evince a glaring fear of approaching short squeezes. It's noteworthy to note that institutions and regular investors are purchasing a lot of call options in anticipation of future stock price increases. Significant call option purchases for GameStop are depicted in a Twitter screenshot, suggesting that there is general optimism about the company's prospect search in addition to regular investors. It Other hedge funds and institutions are also participating in this trend by wagering against their peers who have certain positions. Now let's discuss the potential future direction of these stocks. GameStop resistance levels from June 2021 are significant indicators. Important resistance levels are 16287, the psychological barrier at 1100, and 11220 per share. During pre market trading, GameStop found it difficult to break through the 187 mark, but it eventually showed signs of recovery using Fibonacci retracement levels. Future resistance levels could be DAL 9 and 1300 per share, as GameStop is continuing to rise. AMC is probably going to do the same, but it's still too early to tell if the short squeeze is really starting. For this theory to be validated, both stocks must rise above their prior all-time highs. This time, though, there will be a big difference in MC's full dilution throughout 2021 and 2022. CEO Adam Aaron of AMC has been issuing new shares during recent stock surges. AMC has also raised about $215 million through the sale of 725 million shares, a process that was completed yesterday. As a result, the company is now in a position to rise without the threat of additional share dilution, closely aligning it with GameStop's potential. Ascending in conclusion, the stock market is going through an interesting time, with MC and GameStop at the center. Massive losses for short sellers, heavy call option buying, and the completed dilution of MC shares all point to the possibility of a short squeeze, though it's unclear if this is the start of the squeeze. Current trends and market behaviors are undoubtedly laying the groundwork for major developments. That's all we have for you today, gentlemen. Please share your thoughts regarding an MC stock with us in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.